Hi, my name is Krishna. I'm a rising sophomore from American High, and this is my phone control robotic arm. So there's servos at each of the joints in this arm, so it can flex and grab objects around its like area. Uh, I chose this project mostly because I thought it looked really cool, and also it combines like hardware in assembling the actual arm and software in coding like the app for the phone. So I'm sharing my app screen right now. So once you connected uh, it to the robot, you can just run and you can turn the waist, shoulder, the elbow, and of course the wrist. And if that was too slow for you, you can just always increase speed. So if I run it again and I increase speed, then the waist should turn. Okay, well, it's not turning, probably because of the battery. Anyways, so it should increase the speed and it should turn pretty quickly. And you can also adjust the speed to become slower and it'll turn really, really slowly. So basically, it works that in the app, when I press a button, it sends a unique number towards the Bluetooth module. The Arduino then matches that unique number towards basically a servo action. For example, when I press this orange button on the waist, it should be able to send a number one to the Bluetooth module. Then in the Arduino, that one then matches to the clockwise movement of the waist. A few challenges I definitely have with this project were trying to make the app work for the robot because the app guide that I made or that I had for the robot wasn't for my robot, it was for a completely different robot. So basically what I had to do was adjust a lot of the Arduino code and the app code and in particular the app design because the app design used slider buttons. With slider buttons, it would send a text array, for example, S1120. That would basically mean servo one, move 120 out of 180 degrees. Problem with that is with sliders, right? You push it and you drag it and it goes to the next position. Every value, another array is sent and sent and sent and sent. And that was too long for my Arduino to process. So I simplified it and using two up and down, two up and down buttons that just send a specific number. Basically, instead of putting most of the processing into a really heavy signal sent to the Bluetooth module, I just put back most of the processing into the Arduino code. Um, a lot of my future plans, plans for this project are definitely to make it a lot smaller, maybe also code an iOS app for it so I can use it on other types of phones. I definitely want to use a more complex app builder because the one I'm using is block code. So it's not very intuitive, and I definitely want to make it more interactive. And another future plan for this project is also to make it work again after this demo. So yeah, and after reflecting on my time here at Blue Stamp, I definitely learned a lot of technical stuff, like you know how to learn C++ and like how to use a Bluetooth module in Arduino and like wire pins and all that. But I also definitely learned a lot about troubleshooting with code because most of the time my project didn't really work out. So. I think I learned a lot about, even though it seems pretty broad at the time, you can narrow it down eventually. You just need to really test your code, make small changes, really monitor how the project's turning out. And you just really need to keep persevering and try and get the project to run. And there's one thing I want to take away from Blue Stamp. It's to always please keep a copy of your original code. It's necessary. There's sometimes a point of no return. Uh, thanks for watching my presentation.